This is the first time we get to orbit Mercury. NASA has finally broken its long-held silence on the latest findings from the James Webb Space Telescope. This groundbreaking discovery, hidden from the public eye until now, centers on the planet Mercury. Mercury's searing surface and volatile atmosphere have piqued people's attention and aroused speculation for decades, providing a harsh but alluring window into the extremes of planetary formation. But nothing could have prepared us for the discoveries made by the JWST. The findings, now corroborated and confirmed, are nothing short of revolutionary. What the JWST detected on Mercury's surface has opened a Pandora's box of cosmic mysteries. This anomaly hints at the possibility of advanced processes at work. Processes that could rewrite the history of not just Mercury but also our understanding of our solar system. What has NASA discovered exploring Mercury? Join us as we explore how NASA finally breaks silence on the James Webb Telescope discovery on Mercury. It seems like Mercury, sitting so close to the Sun, should already be a dead planet. Experts predicted that the little rock, which is only slightly larger than the Moon, would have been ravaged by the Sun's powerful radiation to the point of desolation. The temperature differential between the planet's day and night sides is about 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit making it an extremely inhospitable environment. Mercury, however, has shown to be a complex and paradoxical environment full of surprises that scientists underestimated. Interesting data suggests that Mercury is more than just a dry rock. Mercury, one of the five planets visible to the human eye from Earth, has been known to humanity for thousands of years. Mercury was probably noticed by ancient civilizations long before written records were preserved. Therefore, the exact date of its discovery is unknown. Mercury was named after the messenger god of the same name by the ancient Greeks and Romans, who were among the first civilizations to examine the planet thoroughly. Planet Mercury was associated with the Greek god Hermes, who was believed to be in charge of communicating between the gods due to the speed with which the planet moved across the sky. The subsequent centuries saw a proliferation of astronomical research on Mercury with scientists learning ever more about the planet's characteristics and habits. In the early 17th century, Johannes Kepler made a very important discovery related to this. Kepler made the first accurate observation of Mercury's irregular, rather than circular, orbit around the Sun. As new tools and methods for studying the planet emerged in the 19th and 20th centuries, additional important findings regarding Mercury emerged. Two missions have successfully reached the Swift planet thus far. The third, Baby Colombo, is scheduled to arrive in late 2025 and is being carried out by the space agencies of Japan and Europe. Despite the limited scope of these ground-based studies and on-site excursions, they have been crucial in dispelling many of our initial misconceptions about Mercury's enigma. Mercury may be small, yet it packs a big punch. Although its diameter is barely larger than the Moon, Mercury is over four times as massive as Earth's natural satellite. In fact, Mercury is the second densest planet in our solar system after Earth. The planet's extreme density comes from the fact that it has a large iron core that makes up about 60% of the planet's volume. In contrast, Earth's core by volume is only about 15%. The abnormal internal structure has spawned several theories on Mercury's birth. The outer layer of Mercury may have been melted or dispersed by the solar winds in its early stages, according to scientists. Another possibility is that the young planet was hit by a massive impact that severed its outer, more delicate covering, exposing its inner, more robust core. It appears that the impact may not have been a direct hit, but rather a glancing blow that preserved a portion of Mercury's primordial crust and mantle. Mariner 10, the first mission to visit Mercury, discovered that the planet retains a magnetic field. Upon launch in 1973, scientists were taken aback by the finding since they had anticipated that a planet of this size would have cooled down quickly and its interiors would have solidified, rendering it completely devoid of global magnetism. The presence of a magnetosphere implies that part of Mercury's core is still churning. Mercury's magnetic field is about 100 times weaker than Earth's on their respective planetary surfaces. The sluggish dynamo means that the planet is at the tail end of its developmental stage, on its way to becoming a dead planet like Mars. In the 2010s, the second Mercury mission, MESSENGER, documented that the planet's magnetic field was off-kilter. The magnetic south pole doesn't sit on the geographic south pole. 
Instead, it is buried almost at the center of the planet. According to Antonio Genova, an aerospace engineer and planetary geodetician at Rome Sapienza University, the planet's magnetic field provides a window into its initial record of its past, suggesting the extent to which the planet's whirling core has slowed down over the course of billions of years. In order to delve deeper into Mercury's hidden mysteries, his team will take advantage of the ongoing Baby Colombo return mission. Meanwhile, Mercury has such a thin atmosphere that it doesn't really qualify as an atmosphere. This ethereal gas layer, which is so rarefied that it hardly registers pressure readings, is instead referred to as an exosphere by scientists. Meanwhile, the study of Mercury's surface and internal composition benefits from geochemical analogs that serve as crucial reference points for measurements. Results from infrared and X-ray spectrometers can be better interpreted using these Mercury-like analog studies in laboratories. Over the next year, orbiters will meticulously examine Mercury's mineral compositions, topography, and interior structure. By comparing this data with findings from previous missions, scientists aim to determine whether Mercury remains geologically active. Surface holes possibly resulting from material evaporation further intrigue researchers. Collectively, these observations promise insights into Mercury's mysterious origins and, by extension, the broader cosmic context of our solar system's formation. Understanding why Mercury is exceptionally dense with a massive core contributes significantly to our perspective on the solar system's first planet. Meanwhile, recent observations of exoplanet 55 Cancri E using the James Webb Space Telescope have revealed a carbon-rich atmosphere. This finding represents compelling evidence that rocky exoplanets can indeed maintain atmospheres. 55 Cancri E, a super-Earth twice Earth's diameter, orbits incredibly close to its star, resulting in surface temperatures high enough to liquefy iron. Since its discovery in 2004, this exoplanet has posed numerous mysteries regarding its orbital characteristics, density, and especially its atmosphere. Initially thought too hot and close to its star for an atmosphere, new data from JWST challenges these assumptions, indicating a carbon-rich envelope surrounding 55 Cancri E. It is indeed encased in a gaseous layer, albeit a peculiar one. The initial clue suggesting this super-hot super-Earth had an atmosphere came from a temperature anomaly detected by JWST's mid-infrared instrument. Researchers from Murray measured thermal emissions from 55 Cancri E's dayside expecting temperatures around 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit if the planet lacked an atmosphere. Surprisingly, they found a cooler temperature of approximately 2,800 degrees Fahrenheit, indicating heat transfer from the day side to the night side likely facilitated by atmospheric circulation. Subsequent observations with the near-infrared camera revealed the presence of carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide gas swirling around the planet's surface of molten rock. Given the proximity to its star, Solar winds would typically strip away such an atmosphere swiftly, suggesting it likely hasn't persisted since the planet's formation. Instead, scientists propose that 55 Cancri E's carbon-rich secondary atmosphere is continuously erupting from its interior, replenishing itself despite ongoing loss to space. With the full scientific operation of the Baby Colombo mission slated for 2026, there's hope for deeper insights into what these rocks and atmospheres can reveal about our neighboring planets. Exploration and Discoveries The exploration of Mercury has been a journey marked by groundbreaking discoveries and technological advancements. Since humanity's first attempts to understand this closest planet to the Sun, our knowledge has expanded exponentially, thanks to missions like Mariner 10, Messenger, and ongoing efforts such as Baby Colombo. Mariner 10 and Messenger Missions Mariner 10, launched in 1973, was the first spacecraft to fly by Mercury and provided the first close-up images of the planet. It conducted three flybys and captured detailed images of about 45% of Mercury's surface. Among its key discoveries were evidence of a magnetic field and the planet's heavily cratered surface. Following Mariner 10, Messenger, Mercury surface, space environment, geochemistry, and ranging, became the first spacecraft to orbit Mercury. Launched in 2004, Messenger arrived at Mercury in 2011 and orbited the planet for over four years, collecting extensive data about its surface, composition, and magnetic field. 
Messenger's findings revolutionized our understanding of Mercury's geological history, revealing evidence of past volcanic activity, tectonic activity, and water ice in permanently shadowed craters near the poles. Baby Colombo Mission The Baby Colombo Mission, a collaboration between the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, aims to further our understanding of Mercury. Launched in 2018, Baby Colombo is a dual spacecraft mission designed to study Mercury's composition, magnetic field, and surface environment in unprecedented detail. Baby Colombo consists of two spacecraft, the Mercury Planetary Orbiter, MPO, and the Mercury Magnetospheric Orbiter, MMO. The MPO focuses on mapping Mercury's surface and studying its composition using a suite of instruments, including cameras, spectrometers, and a laser altimeter. Meanwhile, the MMO investigates Mercury's magnetosphere and its interaction with the solar wind, helping scientists understand how Mercury's magnetic field evolves over time. Scheduled to arrive at Mercury in 2025, Baby Colombo promises to build on the discoveries of Mariner 10 and Messenger, shedding further light on the planet's geological history, surface features, and volatile elements, Mercury's magnetic field and interior. One of the most intriguing aspects of Mercury is its magnetic field, which is surprising for a planet of its size and proximity to the Sun. Unlike Earth's global magnetic field, Mercury's is much weaker and offset from the planet's center, with its magnetic north pole significantly displaced from its geographic north pole. Scientists believe that Mercury's magnetic field is generated by a dynamo process within its partially molten iron core. However, the exact mechanisms responsible for sustaining this magnetic field, despite the planet's small size and slow rotation, remain a topic of active research. Understanding Mercury's magnetic field provides crucial insights into its interior structure and evolutionary history. Volcanism and Surface Features Mercury's surface is characterized by a variety of geological features, including impact craters, smooth plains, and unusual hollows impact craters, formed by collisions with asteroids and comets, are abundant and provide important clues about the history of impacts on the planet's surface. Smooth plains on Mercury are believed to result from volcanic activity that occurred early in the planet's history. These volcanic plains, composed of solidified lava flows, suggest that Mercury was once geologically active, with molten rock erupting onto its surface. The presence of volcanic features indicates that Mercury's interior was once hot enough to melt rock similar to Earth's geological processes. In addition to impact craters and volcanic plains, Mercury exhibits mysterious hollows, irregular depressions with bright interiors. These hollows were first observed by Messenger and are thought to form through a process involving the sublimation of volatile materials, possibly due to intense solar radiation. The discovery of hollows challenges previous models of Mercury's surface evolution and raises questions about ongoing geological processes on the planet. Mercury's Atmosphere and Exosphere Mercury has a tenuous atmosphere known as an exosphere, composed primarily of oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium. Unlike Earth's dense atmosphere, Mercury's exosphere extends far into space and consists of particles ejected from the planet's surface by solar wind and impacts from micrometeoroids. The exosphere of Mercury is constantly replenished by the release of gases and particles from the planet's surface. Solar radiation and interactions with the solar wind play a crucial role in shaping Mercury's exosphere, contributing to its dynamic nature. Studying Mercury's exosphere provides insights into how planets interact with their parent stars and the processes that govern atmospheric escape. Water ice and volatiles. Despite its proximity to the sun and scorching surface temperatures, Mercury has areas of permanently shadowed craters near its poles where water ice and other volatile substances can exist. The discovery of water ice on Mercury was first confirmed by MESSENGER, which detected radar bright deposits in polar regions that are shielded from direct sunlight. The presence of water ice on Mercury raises intriguing questions about the planet's geological history and the delivery of volatiles during its formation. Scientists hypothesize that water ice may have been delivered to Mercury by comets or asteroids, which deposited volatile-rich materials on the planet's surface over billions of years. In addition to water ice, Mercury's surface contains other volatiles such as sulfur, potassium, 
and chlorine. These volatile elements play a crucial role in shaping Mercury's surface chemistry and atmospheric composition, providing clues about the planet's evolution and environmental conditions, comparative planetology, and exoplanetary studies. Studying Mercury not only enhances our understanding of our solar system's formation and evolution, but also provides valuable insights into the nature of rocky exoplanets orbiting other stars. Comparative planetology, the study of different planets to understand their similarities and differences, allows scientists to draw parallels between Mercury and other terrestrial worlds, both within our solar system and beyond. Recent advancements in exoplanetary studies, facilitated by space telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, have revealed a diverse array of exoplanets with varying sizes, compositions, and orbital characteristics. Rocky exoplanets, similar to Mercury, present unique challenges and opportunities for understanding planetary formation and habitability. The discovery of carbon-rich atmospheres on exoplanets like 55 Cancri e challenges previous assumptions about the limits of planetary atmospheres in close proximity to their parent stars. These findings suggest that rocky exoplanets can maintain atmospheres under extreme conditions, providing new insights into the diversity of planetary environments beyond our solar system. Future Directions and Scientific Goals Looking ahead, future missions and observational campaigns promise to further unravel the mysteries of Mercury and expand our knowledge of rocky planets throughout the cosmos. The upcoming scientific operations of the Baby Colombo mission at Mercury will provide unprecedented data on the planet's surface geology, interior structure, and magnetic field dynamics. Advancements in space telescope technology, including JWST and future missions, will continue to revolutionize our understanding of exoplanetary atmospheres, surface compositions, and potential habitability. By studying Mercury and other rocky planets, scientists aim to decipher the fundamental processes that govern planetary formation, evolution, and the potential for life beyond Earth. In conclusion, Mercury remains a captivating world that continues to surprise and challenge our understanding of planetary science. From its magnetic mysteries to its volatile rich surface and dynamic geological features, Mercury offers a window into the complex processes that shape rocky planets across the universe. As exploration efforts advance and new discoveries unfold, Mercury will undoubtedly continue to play a pivotal role in advancing our understanding of planetary systems and the broader cosmic context in which they exist.